Hi, this is Stefan from Intel. I'm a member of the Diagnostics and Trace Tools group. This is my second video on just-in-time and ahead-of-time compilation. If you haven't watched the first video, I'd recommend to do that now. First, I would like to show you how to check the options used by the offline compiler to generate target code. Then, I will demonstrate how to pass additional options to the offline compiler. Let's start with checking the offline compiler options. For that, we need additional environment variables. This dump to current year is not required. If you don't set it, you will find your shaders in slash temp. Let's now compile the error transform example again. We use AOT compilation to have the shaders generate during compile time. If you use JIT, the shaders will be generated at runtime. Let's check. We are interested in the underscore options.txt file. So we check a B for example, and we can see that the minus G minus CL opt disable is used by the offline compiler. Those flags are passed by the front end compiler to the offline compiler as we use a minus G minus of zero. I remove those shaders again and we can redo this experiment with minus O2. Let's check. Again, we open the options.txt and we can see that only the minus G option is passed. Let's assume we would like to have optimized code on the host side but still have unoptimized code on the target. We add an additional option here, minus options, and then we directly pass minus the L opt disable. First, I remove the shaders again. Let's check the, uh, the options.txt file again. And we can see that we have unoptimized code on the device side. We can also check the host part. We use the standard reef elf. We use the info section. And we can see that the minus g minus or two is used for the host side. Let's now conclude on what we've learned in this video. First, we can dump the shaders when target code is compiled. This allows us to inspect the compile options forwarded from the front end compiler to the offline compiler. Also, we can use different optimization levels for the host and device parts of your code. This might be useful in certain situations. For example, if you want to debug device code, but you have to undergo a costly initialization routine on the host side first. Please check the online documentation for more information. Thank you for watching.